Well, let me check here. I paid the electric, I paid the mortgage, and I paid all utilities. Hey Ross, where my money makes money, using my same props, I don't got that much money. Living paycheck to paycheck, and we talked about this before. Now, shout out goes to a subscriber, and I'm sorry I forget your name, but it will be in the description, for having me to go back over this topic again. Living paycheck to paycheck. Now, the big problem with living paycheck to paycheck is, quite frankly, you didn't ask yourself one question and one question only. Why? Why am I living paycheck to paycheck? Because that one white question will end up being multiple questions. Will probably be thousands of questions. Like, why did I buy that expensive couch from Ashley's? Why do I live in this expensive apartment that's killing my budget? Why? Why? Why did I go out and buy that car that I can't afford? Why do I have a thousand dollar deductible on my car that I can't afford? Because if you crash it, do you have a thousand dollars to fix it? These are the questions that you need to ask yourself. Now, I may get into car insurance and how things are ran because I only pay like 200 for a deductible. I'm off it. Living paycheck to paycheck. Let me ask you this question. What if you have an emergency? What if you have a definite family and you have to go travel, but you don't have the moolah? You don't have the cash. What happens? What if something happens to your vehicle? where it breaks down or needs a repair or maintenance. How can you afford that? Because you're living paycheck to paycheck. And living paycheck to paycheck means simply this. You're paying all your bills. You're doing everything that you probably need to do. But if one thing happens, if one mishap, if one mistake, if the stakes go up at the supermarket, you out in the cold. You can't eat dinner. You can't drive to work you're gonna have a multitude of domino effect happenings and mishaps in your life. It's kind of like the movie Final Destination, how one thing leads to a tragic accident. That's basically what we're talking about. That's basically what we're talking about. We're talking about if you get a flat tire and that tire is two or three hundred dollars, you don't have the money to cover it. You don't have the money to cover it, so guess what you have to do now? You have to find another way to work, depend on a friend, catch public transportation, or simply not go, or maybe even get a bite, I don't know. But this is the point. One mistake, one mishap, one issue can lead to a multitude of trouble. Living paycheck to paycheck is never fun. So you're saying, well, how do I stop living paycheck to paycheck? You already know this. Come on, you already know this. Lower your damn expenses. Now, when I was growing up and I was young, and unfortunately, my my mother and my aunt, had, they passed away. My aunt passed away this year, and my mother was 12. I shared this before. I used to drink around 16, 17. I never really was a big drinker. And we all did at some point, I guess, unless you guys are just super clean. Malt liquor, which I hated, is disgusting. But when we did drink liquor, what did we drink? You know what I'm about to say. That urchin jerk. Ugh. And we also drink that Paul Masson, okay? And I had a little MD 2020. I'm taking you some. I'm taking some of you guys back now. Why Olive Rose? But they were fairly cheap. Well, now I don't drink that, okay? I drink the champagne of cognac, okay? I drink the champagne of cognac, and that's Remy. And also, I, I drink I drink Scotch, Glenfinnich, and other top shelf drinks. The point I'm making is. I came to a point in my life where I can enjoy the finer things in life like Hennessy Privilege. And no, this is not an advertising video for those, okay? I'm not getting paid. That's my disclaimer by any of them. But if I can't afford those things, then I can't buy those things. The problem is this. You may have extra cash. You may live in a decent apartment that you can afford. You may have a decent car that you can afford. Your bills may be low or medium. I don't really know, but the point is this. You can cut your expenses and you won't be living paycheck to paycheck. I'm pretty sure that $40 or $50 shoe allowance you give yourself or dress allowance or purse allowance that you give yourself every week, that can stop. 
because you probably already got 10 to 12 purses. Now, this is another thing, and I'm not trying to beat up you females because, you know, my wife is a female. Uh, why do you have so many damn pairs of shoes? And guys, why do we have so many damn t-shirts? Exactly. So the point I'm making is we buy a lot of money on frivolous shit because we simply overindulge. We simply overindulge. Now, I don't really care that my shirt is wrinkled because I ain't going nowhere. I'm just right here. But the point I'm making to you is you need to cut your expenses so you don't live paycheck to paycheck. You need to call into your insurance company and may have to raise all the deductible depending on where your paycheck is. So you do get an accident, you can actually come $200, $300, $500 out of your pocket and pay for it. Stop living above your means. Stop living above your means. You're not, you're not the Rothschilds. You're not the Gates. You're not the Trumps, okay? You're not the Oprah Winfrey's. Because if you were, because if you were, you wouldn't be right here right now. You would not be in the situation that you are in right now. The reason why you are in the situation that you are in right now it's a couple of reasons. Now, in my opinion, my opinion, I'm gonna tell you why you're in the situation that you're in because I was in that situation. And that's because when we grew up, me and you, you and I, no one taught us the value of a dollar. No one told us. They said, you use this, you go there, and you buy what you want. If you don't have enough of it, then you can't buy what you want. Then somebody said, oh, come and save this okay at the time i didn't have a savings account why well, i'm gonna save that under my bed that's why a lot of people save their money right because they don't trust these banks and i understand that but nowadays banks are better than ever they're not taking and stealing people's money no more <clears throat> tosla oklahoma excuse me <clears throat> frog in my throat you have to understand that that's probably the safest way to put your money now you do have other options like the cayman islands the swiss so on and so forth. Look into those things, but stop living paycheck to paycheck because you give yourself excuses of what happened to you in your childhood. You are a grown person, male and female alike. You have to understand, you can blame your parents, you can blame your grandparents, but you still have to live your life. You still have to live your life. Stop living paycheck to paycheck. I am tired of mother living paycheck to paycheck and wondering why they impoverished. I don't know, I, I work hard, I, I do everything I'm supposed to do, I follow the law. But you spend frivolously, you go out and you eat out almost five or six times a week. How many days in a week? Seven! You eat five or six out of day, you, you go on a Pizza Hut and Domino's and Burger King and, and, and all these extravagant restaurants, Ruth Chris. Ruth Chris got some good steak though. But the point I'm making is you're eating now more than you're eating in and wondering why you're living paycheck to paycheck talking about you don't live above your means. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I'm going to tell you something about rich people. I'm going to tell you about well, people with real money. They dress like this. They dress like this. The only time they wear those expensive Armani and Gucci and Tom Ford suits is when they go to business meetings. Okay? That's when they go to business. But when they're out there, they got on some khakis, a t-shirt, some regular clothing. Learn from them, people. Learn from them. So this message is to that person. I'm looking you right in your eye because you are living above your means. You are living paycheck to paycheck and you're wondering why. And I'm here telling you why. Because you need to break a generational curse that your family has put you on. You need to break a generational curse of your mind being blockaded by your own thoughts. You need to break a generational curse that TV has perpetuated and subconsciously subdued your mind for you to buy shit you don't need. You need to break a generational curse that has bombarded you with impure thoughts about everything that everybody has and everything that you want but don't need. This is Raw's world. We're living paycheck. The paycheck has psychologically bombarded, attacked, ran them up, and done us tragically wrong in our mind and in our thoughts. And now that we know, these motherfuckers can't do it to us no more. They can't subliminally have us to buy stuff that we don't need, okay? Stuff that we don't need. They can't subliminally trick us 
into buying all this stupid stuff that when you look around your house, you don't even use again. This is Ross World, where we're now eyes open, sound mind, with much heart. And we're going to stop doing this dumb shit, which everybody else has, and what we think we want because they have it and we don't. We're not worried about that. We're worried about the future. We're worried about being rich in the future. You want some quick cash? Go sell your ass. You want some quick crash? Go sell some crap. But not on this channel. We're doing things legal. We're doing things straight. We're going to make it because we have the means to. So don't fuck around on yourself and don't fuck around on this money. I'm out.